Good morning, I thought I'd talk a little bit about health on the trail and how I plan to stay healthy while hiking the PCT. So um, a little bit of background on why I'm concerned with this. I had um, a little bit of a health scare about eight years ago and it turned out I was intolerant to gluten. So, um, you know, thousands of dollars later, uh, many doctor visits later, I finally figured that out. So I um, gained an interest in health in general. So I enrolled in the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and I'm a health coach. Um, so anyway, that's why I would like to stay as healthy as possible while I'm hiking um, <clears throat> to give me the energy I need um, to make it all the way to Canada. So um, the first thing that I thought about was food. So um, there are a couple of brands that I really like and I'm also dehydrating my own stuff. So I'm dehydrating rice and beans and um, fruit like apples and strawberries. Um, so I am partially uh, making my own food. And then one of the brands I'll show you guys I really love is Outdoor Herbivore. Um, so they're great. It's all I believe online business. So um, online ordering, outdoor herbivore. And then I really also like, you can get this at REI um, or on Amazon or their website, Good To Go. Um, really like their stuff too. And I will go into this later too, but I'm gonna be probably cold soaking my food. So I'm gonna go stoveless. Um, so all of these have stoveless options. And even if something says, like the Good To Go says add boiling water only, you can, um, just add cold water and let it sit for a couple hours and it'll be just fine to eat. So it won't be crunchy or anything like that. Um, so anyway, food is important. I have done a lot of research on this. So um, I plan to send 15 boxes throughout the trail. So that'll leave me with half of my own food that I have researched and everything and tested out and then half fending, kind of fending for myself um, while going to grocery stores or whatever is available in the towns that I go into. Um, so the second thing that I plan to do to stay healthy on the trail is self-care. So one of those things is meditation and I use um, an app called Insight Timer and it's really great. They have so many different options um, for meditation. So I only do like five minutes a day. I might up that while I'm on the trail, um, but at least it's something. Um, ideally, if I have time, I like to do this is kind of weird, but 13 minutes I naturally do if I don't do guided meditation, if I just do like music or something, I usually come out of it in about 12 or 13 minutes. So that's like ideal for me, but so nothing too crazy. Um, just as long as I'm kind of going inward and clearing my mind, um, which I think hiking on the trail will be that much that way too. So I might, um, meditate while I'm walking, who knows? <laughs> Whatever I feel like doing at the time. But um, so meditation is another one, especially when I'm having a bad day. I think it, that's when it's most important to try to meditate for at least a couple minutes or even just forget anything fancy, just closing, closing my eyes and looking inward and focusing on my breath and just clearing everything out. Um, and I also plan on just going with self-care to clean my feet really well every night after I'm done hiking. So, um, and also, you know, just with water, nothing fancy like soap. I don't think I might bring soap, I'm not sure yet, um, but that will be, um, I'll go over that in my, I'm gonna be really in depth with gear. So I'm gonna um, have a post about that. So soap is TBD, <laughs> um, but at least with water, I plan to clean my feet and um, attend to the, any, any of the blisters that are there. Hopefully not, <laughs> um, but most likely. And um, also to kind of just give myself a little foot massage. So um, that's my little self-care routine for my feet. Um, I also would like to do yoga. I'm a yoga instructor and um, I love doing yoga outside. I am bringing, I think, um, still refining the gear, but I'm pretty sure I'm bringing a, um, like a sarong that I can use for like laundry days and also um, like kind of as a yoga mat to put on the ground if I want to do yoga outside. So, um, I'll probably be doing a little bit of, um, gentle yoga before I go to bed, um, while I'm like getting ready. So, um, yeah, that's, that's basically kind of my all around 
plan to stay healthy. We'll see how it goes. And I might, speaking of yoga, I might um, post a little routine. I usually do after I go running. I think it's about 15 minutes. So if that would be helpful um, for anybody out there that plans to through hike or even just is active and wants a little cool down routine um, for after they work out, um, I think that would be a good um, yoga routine to do and I'll, I can walk you through that too. So, um, that might be coming if I have time, if not, maybe I'll do it on the, while I'm on the trail. So we'll see. I really do want to put that routine out. So anyway, that's kind of, um, the basics on how I'm going to stay healthy on the trail. And of course I'm going to keep you updated every week on how that's going too. So I will sign on soon.